All right. In today's video, uh, we are going to demo how to install Oracle Database 19C on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 uh, using RPM method. Uh, traditionally, uh, you know, installing Oracle is kind of uh, a manual uh, process and also it's lengthy compared to others. Like a SQL Server on Linux, you can use yum install. DB2 is relatively simple. And for the uh, open source, uh, most open source, you can use uh, those kind of uh, simple or yum install or the DNF install. Okay. So uh, Oracle uh, version 19C also uh, uh, provided uh, those kind of method. And uh, so let's give a temp. Okay. If you search, uh, Oracle RPM install, you, uh, you can find a, a lot of articles and a lot of uh, videos, okay? And uh, let's see, we do a search Oracle RPM install. This is Oracle documentation. It's very simple. So it's a basic says, um, if you run in Oracle Linux, it's even simpler because we are running like uh, CentOS or Red Hat Linux. We're going to use this uh, method. So the first method is download this pre-installer and then run the pre-installer. So to prepare your system. Uh, and the second step is uh, you download the Oracle uh, installer and the same thing run the yum install, install Oracle software. The third step is going to just uh, create a sample or Oracle database. Okay, so very simple. Okay, let's go back to our command window. So this is uh, the three step I, I illustrated here. The first step is download the pre-installer. The second is download the installed Oracle software. The third is create, configure a Oracle database. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, Oracle database. At all. Okay. So as I said, there's many uh, resources available on the internet, but for this demo, um, I'm gonna focus uh, something. Not only the install, also exactly what uh, Oracle has been done after the we run this pre-install, install, and so on and so forth. So we know what is behind the screen. Okay. All right, let's uh, do that. So for the for the step one, uh, you install the pre-installer, and uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to let's see, we're going to examine uh, what is being um, installed. Okay, so for the step one, so we're going to run a few command. The first command is id oracle. Second command we're going to run it is etc uh, system ctl. So we will review what being will be changed after we uh, run this uh, command. Okay. Also we're going to do another one. It is the security security limits d. So we're gonna see here, there's a file called Oracle some dot config. Okay, all right. So let's get started. All right. So as we said, first we're gonna uh, run these few command. Let me see if there's Oracle user. No, we don't have Oracle user. Let me cat this syscat control, okay? So because Oracle is going to um, change that to uh, put some kernel param change to this. Right now it's a basic empty. Also, uh, we want to look at this one. It's called etc security. Let's see what is inside right now. Security, uh, etc, no, etc. So in this folder, I only have one file that is uh, for the Microsoft SQL Server. So there's no Oracle yet. So, and there's um, 
so after we uh, run the pre-install, you will see Oracle going to put stuff uh, into that directory. Okay. All right. So let's do the step one. Okay. So step one, we're going to install this uh, Oracle database pre-install. Okay. This is for the 19C. And uh, you can use the directory install like this way if you have internet, or you can download and upload uh, run use uh, the yum install or dnf install uh, to this. So in this demo, we'll just make it simple. So I'm going to first uh, get this uh, from internet, from Oracle or website. Okay. So let's see. Probably I don't have the internet access. Or sometimes it's not working on my uh, so what can I do is I'm going to let me see if I already download uh, from my, my uh, laptop and upload it okay let me see if I have any RPM here all right I do have the RPM already um, download and uploaded so this is the uh, pre-install okay so I'm going to go ahead to uh, install this um, uh, before that, we can also do this RPM to look at uh, what is uh, last time it's been installed. Okay, so the last time things being installed on the server, and uh, you see we have uh, the last one is data mesh. So, all right, so this is uh, we just make a mark a PAM and a data mesh. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead here. Um, to run this uh, pre-install, okay? So, yam install and run this uh, pre-install, okay? And uh, then the Oracle installer uh, says, okay, they're going to um, they're going to install this one, uh, the lib. Uh, the RP, RPM packages, okay, that is required, uh, whatever required by the Oracle to run, they will install those uh, Linux packages. In my case, I only have one uh, not installed previously, so this is the one Oracle is going to install. All right, so it's pretty quick, right, so it's already finished. Let's see what has uh, Oracle has done to our system. First, we're going to do ID Oracle. You will see the Oracle user being created. They created like this way. Uh, this is group ID. Uh, no, no, this is UID, user ID, this group ID, and also those are the groups. And of course, in real life, you don't maybe need all of these groups, but there's no hurt. You just keep like this way, okay? Make it simple. If you want to make a change, you can make a change. Whatever group uh, you want um, fit your standard, okay? Then, as I said, let's take a look at the uh, etc um, sysconf. This is the uh, kernel parameters, okay? So after we run the pre, in, uh, so you see Oracle put all those required kernel parameters into uh, into this uh, sys uh, CTL. They also have the comment Oracle says. I'm going to put this uh, uh, file max uh, to this value. Even you don't use this in the production uh, install, you can still use this as a reference, okay? So if you do like, um, like uh, as, uh, as a type of install, you, you said, okay, I want my, uh, my own build uh, or manual build, okay? So, so you can uh, still see what Oracle uh, recommended the uh, the configuration. So you can use them as a, a reference. All right. So the third thing I'm going to examine, as I said, it's called U limit. So it's going to be in the security and in the limits D. So you see now 
there's a file called Oracle that is Oracle put there. It's going to be used for Oracle user, right? So you can see those Oracle um, value, okay? Same thing, you can uh, do a grab. All right, so this is uh, grab minus. Let me remove those all the comments. So let's, uh, make it uh, short. It's this one. Okay, so you, this is all the U limits. Okay, the Oracle user, the U limits are for the. So this is also can uh, service. Uh, in addition to that. Um, if you do a cat, uh, if you well, if we run this uh, command, as I said early, so you will see Oracle is going to um, to decide what packages uh, need to be installed. In this uh, case, uh, there's only additional one that's needed by Oracle, so Oracle install this one on our behalf. So this is typically what the pre-install uh, down to the system, okay? Um, you can, like, for example, do it on a like test uh, system and uh, just learn something from Oracle if you want to uh, use this uh, Oracle's uh, way to install Oracle. Okay, so we've done this step one, so let's move on to the step two. Okay, step two it is um. We're gonna to install the Oracle software. This is the image uh, we download uh, from, uh, not this one, step two. Oh, this is the, uh, the RPM package we download uh, from Oracle. So you need to go there to uh, download and upload it to your server, okay? It's not very big, it is, um, let's see how big it is. It's probably two gig something, yeah. So it's a two gig, a uh, little bit more than two gig, okay? 2.6 gig. All right, so now we're gonna um, go ahead to install the Oracle software, okay? So it probably take a little bit of time. I'm, uh, once it's started, I'm gonna pause this video, okay? So let's do a time uh, to see how long it's, it's take, okay? It says, um, oh, it's not a, a pre, I, I caught, I copy paste the wrong. So it's this line, okay? Time, uh, this is the package, okay? Time, yum, install. You can use minus Y if you don't want the, um, uh, like uh, command line input, okay? Especially if you do the script, uh, use uh, so it says uh, it's already uh, installed. How much? Uh, let me find out what's going on. All right, let's continue. It is uh, the latest one, uh, local install. Okay, so we're gonna do the local install. Um, then here yeah, we're gonna uh, see yes okay and uh, we'll see how long it's gonna take it says um, the RPM package is about 2.5 but after you install it's gonna be 7 gig okay so it's gonna take uh, some time okay so we will exam after this is complete all right it's complete it is uh, less than 10 minutes. It's pretty fast, okay? So you see after that, uh, you can brief or uh, look at it says everything successful. And um, if you want to configure database, you can just uh, run this uh, to configure this database that is step three. So before do that, let's a brief look at where these things are being installed, okay? So like um, typically 
Oracle uh, use U01 for the uh, software, but uh, for IPM, they uh, use the OPT directory. That is proper standard for others like Go Server DB2, okay? So it's going to be inside this Oracle. All right, so you see you have uh, the Oracle inventory, and it should be also have a directory called a prod. And you can see 19C, the home. Okay, this is the standard. You can see it. Okay. Also, in the etc uh, aura, there's a uh, file, two files. It is the location. You see where this inventory is aura install dot location. There's another one called aura tab. Probably it's not there yet. It's empty. So. Uh, once we install the uh, Oracle, so we will our database will see it. Okay. All right. So let's go back to step three. So before we run the step three, let's take a look at uh, this config file. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this config file. So this in the etc and the td. Okay. So this config file is pretty simple. It basically Oracle put some uh, variables there. You see, Oracle version 19C, Oracle SID is Oracle uh, uh, CDB, Oracle Home. That is where the uh, home Oracle Home directory is. The listener name and so on and so forth. If you want to change this, I think you can. Like the uh, it says. Uh, create a one PDB and the PDB name, you can change this, uh, okay? Some other uh, other uh, values there, okay? Some definition after that, uh, let me see, DBC, does it have DBC? Yeah, they do invoke uh, called the DBC. Uh, also, uh, yeah, you see, you use the DBC to uh, create the database. It's a silent uh, in, uh, install. So, uh, so Oracle tried to make things simple, but still, if you want to create a different one, you can still you reuse this one. You change the uh, SID name, Oracle SID, and also the PDB name. Okay. And uh, and custom the way you want. Okay, so let's just do the default. Okay, so I'm gonna just run the default and run um, this script. Oh, let me let's see. Let's see. It is uh, RPM. RPM. Okay, so this is our text. Okay, so we're gonna run this. Uh, Command config okay, so same thing. Let's do a time to see how long it's gonna take. Probably same time, like a few ten, few minutes okay. So again, I have to pause the video and uh, till it's complete okay. All right, uh, the command is completed. You see, it take like nearly forty five minutes to create the database. And uh, the database information says the global database name, the SID, Oracle SID, and also you can review the log file. So at this, um, this moment, and uh, everything's ready. So it also says the passwords auto generated, you must change them by connecting using the CCDBA as the Oracle user. So let's do a connection test, okay? Also, if you do ps minus ef grab oracle, you will see all the uh, oracle process. Okay. All right. So uh, let me switch user to the oracle user. So okay, I'm gonna do a or env and source the source the so. Oracle SID and uh, the Oracle base. So at this moment, we can do a SQL plus 
as um, as a CCDBA, so we will, you know, connect to the database. We can also show the PD, uh, the um, pluggable database. So we are ready to or work on this uh, sample database. And uh, also, uh, if you look at this location, it is will be created uh, into the aura data okay so everything so if you use this method you need to uh, prepare a system make sure the, o the slash opt have enough space to host this data otherwise you have to change when you do the config to a different location have enough data okay uh, enough space so so this method is it's, it's uh, it's relative uh, uh, simple and uh, we can use this and learn how Oracle uh, to create uh, a database, how to set up those kernel parameters, U limits, and so on and so forth. If you want to create something different than the default, you can also feel to do so. After that, uh, you can also uh, set up like uh, use uh, uh, system CTL to control the Oracle startup uh, as well. All right, so I'm going to stop here.